children being bombed in Gaza. Why are people doing nothing about it? Right now, a genocide is unfolded before our eyes and has been sold to us by our politicians, leaders and the media. Our children carry bags to hold their homework, yet in the so-called holy lands, unspeakable is happening as parents carry their children in bags. Every morning, a Palestinian child can wake up at risk of dying and fear of losing their family, upset and sad. While we're at home enjoying our food, they're in Palestine not having any food. How can someone live with themselves knowing they've just killed innocent children? Imagine the parents in Gaza writing on their children's body parts their names and their parents' names so when they get bombed and killed, they know how to match them up. Just thinking about it makes you cry. Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! From that river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Israel is relentlessly bombing Gaza with entire generations of families and being wiped out completely. I have family in Palestine and this morning I found some hand out some horrific news of my uh, mum's cousin who was um, shot on his way to work and his two friends were uh, kidnapped and taken away. Later um, my, my mum's cousin was basically died. This is happening in thousands every single day across Gaza and also people in the West Bank also being murdered by the Israelis. Israel has over 5,000 Palestinian prisoners, including women and kids. I find it's very unfair how we're not being accepted into countries. This is very racist. We see this as Gaza is the largest prison and Israel is the warden. Holding the hostage of 2 million people, half whom are only just children. Israel created this prison 16 years ago, controls all borders, all airspaces and even the sea. They control who gets in and who gets out of the strip whilst bombing in the name of self-defense. Do you think bombing hospitals is self-defense? It is. This is unfair. We can't just, you know, live seeing all this pain. You should stop killing kids and just let them rest in peace. You need to stop killing everybody. One, two, three, four. Occupation no more! Israel is a terrorist state! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Their land has been stolen away from them by Israel. Their homes have been taken away from them and replaced with settlers. And they have been killed, tortured, discriminated against on a daily basis by the Israeli government. To the children in Palestine, we hear you, we see you. The children just like us. Your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, even your friends. We hear you, we see you, we love you, and we are forever praying for you. Look at us all today standing together to prove to the people what the real truth is! That's when I'm gonna stand up Take my people with me Together we are going To a brand new home Far across the river Can you hear freedom calling? Calling me to answer Gotta keep on keeping on I can feel it in my bones. Thank you. My mother is from Gaza. It breaks my heart and I think it must break yours too to see that the UK government is not demanding ceasefire. We want the Labour MPs in this city to demand a ceasefire now. And we have a petition that we want to deliver to Martin Rees, the Mayor of Bristol, and we're going to march up to the doors 